Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Jen. We're with the Franklin Lakes Public Library, and today we're going to make easy microwave fudge. <laughs> okay, so, and I put the ingredients, what you need, on the flyer up above. So we're going to get two cups, two cups of chocolate chips, semi-sweet or bittersweet. We're using semi-sweet. Yes. We have Nestle Toll House. Semi-sweet. So two cups you're going to need of that. Jen has her mask on, so I'll talk a little bit with mine off. I will post the recipe underneath um, the link. It's the recipe underneath our video. One cup. In this bowl? Yep. So you need a microwave safe bowl, obviously. I checked to make sure that one was. Two cups. All right, two cups of chocolate chips. Chocolate. Okay. One 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Okay, we have that right here. Mm -hmm. Ta-da. And it was in stock at the grocery store, so <laughs> all is well. Yes, all these ingredients were in stock. Okay, pour that right in. Okay. Mix this. Okay. This the oh, first, we were supposed to melt the chips. <laughs> Don't mind us. This is all new. So, we're going to. Oh, it's okay. Stir it and melt it. Okay. <laughs> but those at home, you should probably melt. But 30 seconds. <laughs> it smells great. Okay. All right. All right, let's do 30 seconds in the microwave. And then after 30 seconds, we're going to stir, stir. Mix it all up. And then you add the condensed milk. Okay. <laughs> we get well, a little we ahead. A little no problem. You're no used problem. to Gemini. It's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> And the recipe will be underneath our video, the link. All right, All right. that's 30 seconds. Okay. Stir it up. The mixture will thicken up as you stir. Okay, nice. Okay, stir Melted. it good. Okay, and you can do another minute in the microwave, but I do 30 seconds at a time, only because okay. everyone's microwave's different. Yeah. The chips are still pretty solid, yeah. so I'll do another, another 30, 30 seconds. Yeah. Hope everyone's doing well. Good day for fudge. Every day's a good day for fudge. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just keep doing it until the um, chips melt the every chips 30 seconds, stir, make sure the chips are melted. And then uh, after that, you cut the cold butter into small pieces, about the size of playing dice. And then you microwave for another 30 seconds. All right. So two tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons mm -hmm. of butter. We already have a peso tap of this little bar here. Yeah. Thank you. Kids at home, help mom, let mom help you with a butter knife if you need help cutting <laughs> the two tablespoons of butter. Okay. All right, so stir and then put two tablespoons of butter on top. Okay. And then another 30 to 45 seconds. Yeah, back in the microwave for another 30 to 45 seconds until the butter is melted. Right. So we'll try 30 seconds. Yeah, let's do 30. And then at the end, we just add a little vanilla. Nice. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. There's my vanilla. 
I have fancy vanilla that, that a neighbor of mine made it. That's really from Vermont. Nice. Yeah. Blasted me forever, which is great. Yeah, you don't use that much vanilla. So two, okay, so once the butter's melted, she's going to stir it, and then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay. Two teaspoons. All right, let me just mix sure, the butter. Sure, make sure that butter melts. <laughs> the butter is nice and blended in. Mm -hmm. okay. We can show what it looks, what like, it looks the like, the consistency. It's pretty thick. That's how we want our bud, it's nice and thick. <laughs> you are going to need a loaf pan this size, just a little bread pan. And then we're going to put butter in it. Let's just melt that out. Okay. Oh, you put more butter in it? No, I just, um, it's just the butter in the pan. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. One, ooh, I still put quite a bit in. But yeah, I did that on my other video. <laughs> It's going to be extra vanilla. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't write her wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and then she's going to pour it into the pan. All right. It smells oh, did great. Did you show the consistency? Let me show what it looks like. Okay. Pretty thick. Nice consistency. Okay. And then I will just get it into the, our little pan here. Smells great. great. I can smell it even through the mask. <laughs> all, right. all right. So once she gets it in the pan and flattens it all out, um, you're going to chill for at least two hours in your refrigerator before cutting and serving. Um, then you can store it up to room temperature after, or it can be frozen for up to four weeks. So it's great. Look at that. Ta -da. Ta -da. Thank you for joining <laughs> Thank you. Jen and Laura. Please visit us, visit us again. We'll be doing some more cooking. Have a great day. Bye.